In focus this evening, those so-called virtual reality games. When they were first unveiled, the science of it all was staggering. But now there's some evidence it's having a staggering effect, literally, on some who use it when they try to return to the real world. Our report from NBC's Kerry Sanders. Okay, guys, welcome to virtual reality. The chance to test your strength against the bravest warriors. He's on your left-hand side. Battle to the death. Shoot him, he's right in front of you, honey. And always walk away without a scratch. You won, you won. Virtual reality can make the impossible possible. In the virtual world, walls, floors, even the objects you see here floating in space exist only on a computer program. The computer, along with a virtual reality helmet, trick the human brain into thinking the cyber world is the real world. But what happens when you go from that virtual world back to the real world and say, drive a car? Some researchers in Orlando, Florida say there could be a real danger. What we see in the virtual environment um, is that we're moving through an environment. But what we feel is that we're sitting stationary in our chair. This mismatch causes us to become ill. Kay Stanny, a researcher at the University of Central Florida, is studying the real-world consequences of virtual reality for NASA. Experts warn of possible dizziness, nausea, and loss of coordination after extended exposure. It's hard to know who will be affected and to what extent. Audrey Shelton is taking part in the University of Central Florida's research. She is about to take an afternoon stroll without leaving her seat. But before she heads into a virtual world of winding hallways and burning fires, she'll take a real-world test of her motor skills, one similar to those given to drunk drivers. Before virtual reality, all is fine. Touch my finger. Touch in my finger. But after a 30-minute walk in cyberspace... Cross your arms. Put that, the, stand on your preferred leg and hold that stance. All right, see how she can't. Try as she might, Audrey can't hold her balance. I just feel really lightheaded and um, feel like I'm not on firm ground yet. And 20 minutes later, she's still having problems. Her symptoms could easily be mistaken for drunkenness. Psychologist Robert Kennedy says for some virtual reality users, it is like being drunk. The data that we have seen from experiments that we've run recently show a change in balance after a 40-minute exposure that we would say is the kind of change that we ordinarily see when a person has had a 0 .05, 0 .06 blood alcohol concentration. Tony Ash's company makes virtual reality equipment. He says the side effects from virtual reality are similar to those experienced after a daredevil ride at the amusement park, only more controllable. Virtual reality has a great advantage, unlike a roller coaster or an amusement park ride, is that if you do feel uncomfortable, all you do is you simply stop. You take your virtual reality helmet off. At arcades and bars, exposure to virtual reality is usually limited, if by nothing else, cost. But home versions of the game can give zealous players hours of uninterrupted time at the controls. After I played it, I felt like I was dizzy. Most manufacturers warn players to take regular breaks, but experts say until legislation catches up with technology, it is up to each user to make sure their virtual experience does not become a real-world nightmare. Kerry Sanders, NBC News, Orlando.